A new study has shed light on the potential health risks associated with consuming red meat, particularly when it comes to the development of type 2 diabetes. The research, which tracked the dietary habits of over 200,000 individuals for up to 36 years, discovered a concerning association between red meat consumption and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Processed meats such as bacon and hot dogs were found to be linked to an even higher risk. The study's findings. The study led by Dr. Walter Willett from the Harvard T. H. Chen School of Public Health revealed that individuals who regularly consumed substantial amounts of red meat, exceeding one serving per day, faced a significantly elevated risk of developing type 2 diabetes. In fact, these individuals were at about a 50% increased risk compared to those who consumed less red meat. It's important to note that it's challenging to pinpoint whether the meat itself or certain components within it contribute to the heightened diabetes risk. It's possible that individuals who consume more red meat share other lifestyle factors that increase their risk. Excess body weight, for example, is a well-established risk factor for type 2 diabetes. In this study, those who consumed higher amounts of red meat also had higher body mass indexes, consumed more calories, and were less physically active than those who ate less red meat. Potential factors explained. Dr. Willett and other experts suggest several potential factors that may explain the remaining risk associated with red meat consumption. Heme iron found in red meat may damage pancreatic cells responsible for secreting insulin. Additionally, excessive red meat consumption may increase insulin resistance and inflammation. Researchers are also investigating how metabolites, such as TMAO linked to red meat consumption, may contribute to inflammation. Furthermore, compounds known as nitrosamines, formed when nitrites are added to foods, have been associated with promoting insulin resistance diseases, including diabetes. Nitrates and nitrites are often used in the curing and preservation of meats, and when these meats are cooked and eaten, they can convert into nitrosamines. This year, the European Food Safety Authority raised concerns about the level of exposure to nitrosamines in food, particularly in processed meats, which tend to have higher levels of these compounds. Healthy Dietary Alternatives In light of these findings, it's crucial to consider dietary alternatives. While red meat is often viewed as a risk factor for heart disease due to its saturated fat content, the type of fat consumed also plays a role in diabetes risk. U.S. dietary guidelines recommend limiting saturated fat to 10% or less of daily calories, substituting red meat servings with plant-based. Proteins like nuts and soy, which contain polyunsaturated fats, is recommended as a healthier alternative. However, it's essential to make informed choices when altering dietary habits. Replacing red meat with foods that are known to spike blood sugar levels, such as sugary snacks and refined starches, is not a healthy strategy. In fact, it may not reduce the risk of diabetes. Balancing red meat consumption The reality is that giving up red meat entirely may not be a realistic option for many people, especially in the United States where only a small percentage of the population identifies as vegetarian or vegan. Instead, healthcare professionals encourage individuals to reduce their red meat consumption. Dr. Tara Shroud Allen of the University of California, San Diego advises her patients to cut down from their current baseline intake. The ideal amount of red meat to consume is not explicitly specified in you. S. Dietary Guidelines, however, recent reviews of observational studies suggest that limiting daily unprocessed red meat intake to 50 to 100 grams, equivalent to no more than 3.5 ounces per day, may help prevent high blood pressure and cardiovascular diseases. Dr. Willett takes it a step further, suggesting that limiting red meat to about one serving per week is a reasonable Goal for those looking to optimize their health and well-being. Evidence and Controversy
Although large-scale epidemiological studies like the one discussed can't establish a direct cause-and-effect relationship between red meat consumption and disease onset, they provide the best evidence available. Proving causation would require costly and lengthy randomized controlled trials, a challenging task for food-related diseases that may take years to develop. Nonetheless, a significant body of observational evidence points to increased health risks associated with excessive red meat consumption. Scaling back on red meat and processed meats is not only a health-conscious choice, but also contributes to environmental protection. As livestock farming is associated with greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. In conclusion, while red meat can be part of a balanced diet, moderation is key to mitigate the potential risks associated with type 2 diabetes and other health concerns. It's essential to make informed dietary choices that prioritize health and well-being.